one of the most dramatic mass extinction in Earth's history, occurred around 66 million years ago, when an asteroid impact led to the collapse of the ecosystem worldwide. However, life on our planet didn't come to a grinding halt in the wake of this catastrophe. Earth underwent a period of recovery and adoptive radiation, eventually giving rise to the plethora of life forms that we know today. Join us as we explore how the planet's ecosystem evolved, the recovery of various species, and the emergence of new life forms in the aftermath of the extinction event. The asteroid impact that marked the end of the Cretaceous period and the beginning of the Paleogene led to a series of devastating events such as massive wildfires, tsunamis, and so-called nuclear winter caused by dust and soot blocked sunlight. The scarcity of light and heat had profound consequences for photosynthesis, leading to the collapse of food chains and the extinction of approximately 75% of all species, including non-avian dinosaurs. The loss of dominant megafauna, like the dinosaurs, created an ecological niches that would soon be filled by other life forms. In the years following the extinction event, the Earth experienced a period of dramatic climate change with fluctuating temperatures and increased precipitation, and these conditions favored the growth of vast forests, which eventually replaced the once dominant coniferous and palm forests of the Cretaceous period. Following the mass extinction event and the death of the dinosaurs, mammals emerged as the dominant land animals. Initially, most mammals were small, nocturnal creatures that fed on insects and plants. However, the absence of dinosaurs provided an opportunity for rapid diversification and evolution. Within a few million years, mammals diversified into various forms, including large herbivores and predators, occupying many of the ecological niches left vacant by the dinosaurs. The aftermath of the KPG extinction event witnessed an explosion in the diversity of plant life. And geosperms, or flowering plants, which had been a minor component of the Cretaceous flora, took advantage of the newly available niches and rapidly diversified. The diversification included the emergence of grasses, which ultimately led to the formation of vast grasslands that would become a defining feature of the Earth's ecosystems. While non avian dinosaurs met their end during the KPG extension, their avian relatives managed to survive as birds, which are considered the direct descendants of theropod dinosaurs, underwent rapid diversification in the absence of their non-avian relatives. The emergence of new bird species led to the occupation of various ecological niches and contributed to the development of a unique ecosystem. Needless to say, the meteor did not manage to kill off everything, and even though it was a deep cut in the earth, she slowly but steadily was recovering. As grasses began to spread across the globe, they gave rise to vast grassland ecosystems. These habitats provided new opportunities for the diversification and adoption of various life forms. The evolution of grazing animals, such as horses, bison, antelopes, led to the development of complex food webs and a dynamic predatorial prey dynamic. The emergence of these ecosystems played a crucial role in shaping the Earth's modern biomes. The marine life also underwent a complete revamp in a sort. Coral reefs, which had been severely impacted by the extinction event, began to recover and diversify, and these underwater ecosystems, often referred to as the rainforests of the sea, provided shelter and resources for a vast array of marine life. The recovery of coral reefs led to the flourishing of diverse marine species, including fish, crustaceans, and mollusks, which in turn contributed to the establishment of complex marine food webs. The rise of angiosperms and the diversification of plant life facilitated the development of tropical rainforests. These dense, biodiverse ecosystems are characterized by high rainfall and a staggering variety of plant and animal species. The establishment of tropical rainforests created new habitats for numerous organisms, including primates, which would eventually give rise to the human lineage. 
With the tropical forests, of course, come the inevitable rise of the insect life. Many insect species are relied on dinosaur herbivores to disperse their seeds or pollinate their plants in the absence of these dinosaurs. Insects evolved to adopt a new ecological niches, leading to an explosion in insect diversity. Today, insects make up the majority of animal species on Earth, playing a vital role in ecosystems as pollinators, decomposers, and a food source for other organisms. The extinction of dinosaurs and the subsequent changes in global climate led to the adoption of ectothermy, cold-bloodedness, in reptiles. This allowed reptiles to survive and thrive in a variety of environments by regulating their body temperature through external sources and the diversification of reptiles after the extinction of dinosaurs contributed to the emergence of many reptilian groups such as snakes, lizards, and turtles. Not only was this biodiversity of the Earth affected from the extinction event, but the Earth underwent massive geological changes as well. In the aftermath of the dinosaur extinction, Earth's continents continued to drift apart and thus process shaped the planet's geography, creating barriers between land masses that influenced the diversification of life. For instance, the separation of South America from Africa led to the evolution of unique plant and animal species on each continent, such as the marsupials in South America and the primates in Africa. The movement of tectonic plates during this time also led to the formation of several mountain ranges, such as the Andes, the Rockies, and the Himalayas. These geological events created new habitats and contributed to the diversification of species. For example, the uplift of the Tibetan Plateau in Asia resulted in the formation of the Himalayas, which provided a unique habitats for species like the snow leopard and the Himalayan tahar. Another area in which the Earth changed was the weather and climate. About 10 million years after the KPG extinction event, the Earth experienced a period of significant global warming known as the Eceno Thermal Maximum. During this time, temperatures soared, leading to the expansion of tropical and subtropical climates, and this warm and wet climate facilitated the growth of vast forests that spread across the globe, promoting the diversification of plants and animals. Following the Eocene Thermal Maximum, the Earth gradually transitioned into an ice house world characterized by cooler temperatures and the formation of ice caps at the poles. This shift in climate led to the retreat of forests and the expansion of grasslands, which in turn influenced the evolution of various mammal species, such as the grazing ungulates and the large predators that hunted them. The extinction of dinosaurs and the subsequent diversification of life on Earth eventually gave rise to the primate lineage, from which humans evolved and the emergence of Homo sapiens, our own species, marked a significant turning point in the history of life on Earth. As humans develop advanced cognitive abilities, social structures, and technology, they began to shape the planet in unprecedented ways, impacting ecosystems and other species around the globe. The influence of human activities on Earth's ecosystem has become so pervasive that many scientists argue we are now living in a new geological epoch, the Anthropocene. This period characterized by human-induced changes to the planet's climate, landscapes, and biodiversity presents unique challenges and opportunities for understanding the resilience and vulnerability of life on Earth. As we face the challenges of the Anthropocene, the lessons learned from the Earth's history can inform our efforts to conserve and restore biodiversity as it is important to recognize a diverse ecosystem in maintaining the health and stability of our planet, and we must prioritize the protection of habitats, the preservation of genetic diversity, and the promotion of the sustainable practices that minimize our impact on the environment. In addition to conservation and restoration efforts, we must also consider the potential impacts of climate change on Earth's ecosystem and the species that inhabit them. Developing strategies for helping species and ecosystems adapt to changing conditions will be crucial in ensuring the continued resilience of life on Earth.
Unfortunately, the future of Earth's biodiversity will depend on our ability to foster a global ethic of stewardship, recognizing the interconnectedness of all life on our planet and the responsibility we have as humans to care for the environment and its inhabitants. By cultivating a deep appreciation for the Earth's history and the resilience of life, we can inspire action to protect the delicate balance that sustains our world. The extinction of the dinosaurs and the subsequent recovery and diversification of life on Earth offer valuable insights into the resilience of our planet and the complex processes that shape its ecosystems. As we confront the challenges of the Anthropocene, understanding the lessons of the past can help us to navigate the uncertain future that lies ahead. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell to not miss out on any future videos.